Yeah, well, hello. My name is Marcus Winter, and today I'll be explaining to you the difference between the servo problem and the regulator problem for control, which is number 28 on your homework sheet, if you have it with you. And so, basically, where we're going to start is we're going to start with the uh, basic feedback control loop, because that's where we start for most of these problems. I happen to have one with me, so let's just take a quick look at it. Alright, so this is your basic feedback control loop. And what we have is we're looking at the servo problem and the regulator problem. And so let's start with the servo problem. And in a servo problem, there is no change in the load, which is right here. So the load is basically said to stay the same. And what they're actually doing is they're varying the set point. And as they vary the set point, the control variable is going to change along with that. So you have to watch out for that. And a uh, slightly more common problem, and what we're going to be looking at, is the regulator problem. And it's different in that instead of the load not changing, it's the set point that doesn't change. So in a regulator problem, the set point will stay the same, and the load will change. And as that load changes, instead of the, cha the control variable changing along with it, the control variable will stay the same. So, regulator problem, control variable stays the same, and the load changes. Servo, servo type problem, the set point changes, the load stays the same, and the control variable changes along with the set point. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'll be right here. Bye.